everyone, it's Helen McConnell here from PurposeProsperityHappiness.com and I want to welcome you to this series of videos regarding emotional spring cleaning. You don't have to be doing this in the springtime, it's just a nice time for renewal, rebirthing, awakening, so it's a great time, to, uh, time for new beginnings, great time to clean our emotional house as well as our physical house. And as you do these videos with me, and you begin to clear emotional stuff, you might notice that some of your physical clutter gets cleared as well. If you've been hiding away old grudges and anger and things like we tapped about in previous videos, you may suddenly find the desire to clean out an old closet or an attic or a basement because our physical world reflects our internal world you can look around and see where you have clutter and ask yourself what that represents. If you have piles of paper, for example, you might be trying to avoid looking at something or it's just so overwhelming you don't know where to start. So I invite you to take the bottom piece of paper out of one of those piles and say, oh, just notice it and say, Do I, did I even remember that was there? Do I even need this paper anymore? Is it as scary as I thought it would be to just look at that bottom piece of paper? Ask yourself these real questions and then relate it to emotional things. Today we're gonna to tap on old stories and beliefs that we hold about ourselves, about others, and about the world. And it's very comparable to the pile of paper. There's usually something way at the bottom of our belief system that we don't need anymore. And we're perfectly free to take a look at it make a choice for ourselves now that we're aware of it, and we can compost that old belief. Just let it go. Okay. So I invite you to briefly choose a belief that you hold about yourself, whether you were, were consciously aware of it or not. I'm gonna help you get aware of it or not by saying something like this. You can say, I really love myself except, and fill in the blank. That's a good way to find one of these limiting beliefs. For some people, it's, um, I'm not something enough. I'm not smart enough or pretty enough or thin enough or, or good enough. Um, just notice what that might be. Or, uh, I love myself except for, I'm always late. Th these limiting beliefs come with phrases like, I'm always, I never, I'm not blank enough. So find one of your beliefs, one of your stories that you've been telling yourself. Just notice where you've been storing that in your body. Is it at the bottom of your pile of papers? Is it at the bottom? Have you been throwing things on top of it, trying not to look at this thing? Has it been collecting clutter on top of it? Because our beliefs that we hold at the base of who we are affect our entire life. They affect our reality. And everyone's got different ones. So I encourage people to release them. The world looks different when we release an old belief. Tap with me, won't you? Take that belief that you discovered and just tap along and notice what happens to the belief. Let's say, even though I have this belief about myself and I've been holding it in my body for a really long time, I love and accept myself completely. And I'm open to letting this belief and all the stories about it go now. Notice any resistance that's coming up. No, I can't let go of that. No, somebody wouldn't like me if I let go of that. Just jot down some notes if you need to. Stop the video. Notice what's coming up. The resistance to letting this belief or story go. But trust me, when you let this go, the first one's often the hardest one and after that it gets a little easier and a little easier to let these old beliefs go and become who you truly are, okay? All right, so tap around with me and say this belief. I've had it a long time. I didn't decide to have this belief. It was given to me. And it's affected all areas of my life. And 
It's been around so long that I thought that's who I am. But it's not true. This belief is not who I am. It's not even my belief. And I'm not blaming anyone, not myself or anyone else. I believed it because it seemed like the right thing to do. But I'm beginning to see that this belief no longer suits me. It's not who I am. And I'd like to be free. And we'll do one more round. Just tap around and say, some of the people in my life might not like it. But I'm letting this belief go. I'm releasing all emotional attachment to this belief. and to the stories that have come with it. I'm forgiving myself for holding this belief for so long. And I'm forgiving anyone who played a part in my having this belief. It's time to let it go. It's time to be free. Take a nice deep breath. This particular topic is just like scratching the surface. So just know that if you need some additional help with limiting beliefs or old stories, I'm available to help you. You can contact me, Helen at PurposeProsperityHappiness.com. Click on my website. Or you can find another EFT practitioner, tapping practitioner, to work with you on releasing old limiting beliefs that aren't even yours. I wish you the greatest of joy and expansion in your life. Namaste.